जस्टिस इंदु मल्होत्रा मैं आपके पास आना चाहूंगी जो आ, मेरा सवाल था एक बार फिर से मैं दोहराना चाहूंगी मैडम कि आ, जिस तरह से आ, ये कहा गया हमेशा कि महिलाओं के सामने बहुत चुनौतियां रहती हैं इसलिए वो बेंच में आ, नहीं आना चाहती हैं वाकई आपने बार भी देखा है और बेंच भी देखा है किस तरह की चुनौतियां आपके सामने रही मैम और आखिर आ, किस तरह से एक महिला होने के नाते उससे पार पाया जाए आज के दिन में जैसे विमेन ने लॉ की जो प्रैक्टिस है वो फुल टाइम करती है क्योंकि पहले दिनों में विमेन यूज टू प्रैक्टिस फॉर द शॉर्ट पीरियड वेन दे गॉट मैरिड दे वुड लीव द प्रोफेशन बट नाउ दे आर ऑल लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ विमेन आर वर्किंग ऑन अ फुल टाइम बेस and they have proved their merit and hmm. they are also keen to come to the judiciary hmm. so that is actually outmoded hmm. thought that you know women are no longer interested they are certainly interested to come to the judiciary hmm. and they have by their dint of their hard work proved themselves hmm. but my view is that whether it's an appointment of a male judge or a woman judge it must be based on merit we are discharging a public duty Hmm. and we must be competent and it has to be merit based to discharge the functions you know which we are interested in bilkul so i i don't believe in percentages i believe in merit hmm. and i think today now the environment is very progressive hmm. and i think there is from within the judiciary hmm. a, a very strong instinct to increase the number of women and appoint women on hmm. the basis of their merit Yes. and of course there are challenges for women particularly since traditionally they have had to shoulder domestic responsibility hmm. so to strike a work life balance is the biggest challenge which women face hmm. but i think with education and evolution of society today they do get far more cooperation from their families yes. than probably they did about two decades ago bilkul